Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about how to convert just about any logo shape to 3D in Fusion. But today we're going to be using an external tool. It's one of the tools in the tool set called Crocodove in Reactor. I'll show you how to install Reactor, how to install Crocodove tools. Let's get to it. Let's pull in a Fusion comp. Yeah. And now let's go to the Fusion page. Let's make some space for what we want to do. Let's um, let's bring in two images, right? Um, let's bring in logo. Let's bring in that Resolve logo. Let's bring in that Visa logo. Okay. Let's drag the DaVinci Resolve logo in there. We have the white background there. Let's remove it. Let's connect an ellipse node. Since it's a circle, so we can just drag the edge there till it kind of gets to just about there. And then we masked out the white background. Um, so the next thing shoots, we will look for S trees create. And the next node we're going to look for is ship create 3D. These two nodes are part of the crocodile suite in Reactor. Um, so the next thing we will do is let's bring in a bitmap node. Oops, sorry, that shouldn't be there. Put that there. Uh, before we connect to the bitmap node, let's bring in a background node. Drop the alpha to zero. Now connect media in one to background one emerge is created. Drag that to the viewer. We have that. We want to increase the size of that logo there. We'll go to match one and increase size. We could have used the transform node, but let's just stick with this for now. Let's connect merge one to bitmap. And then we see this. This is the shape we want, right? And now let's try to do this. Let's connect. Let's try to connect bitmap to S trace create, create. Pardon me, S trace create. It won't go through. We need to put a background node in there connect the bitmap to the background node and connect the background node to S trace create. Now the background is black. It should be white. So we set it to white. S trace create works best when you've converted the image to the kind of bright. So it, it tries to figure out, it's easier to figure out what the edges are, right? And uh, that's it. We, we see shape create 3d there and we see what we have now. Um, we can extrude a little. Let's turn the view by holding down the middle mouse button and alt on the keyboard. And then we have that. We can click on bevels to create some bevels. Let's reduce the bevel a little bit. Yeah. So that's it. We've extruded the shape of the Davishries of Lugu. Now to give it the color, the actual image of the Davishries of Lugu. Let's copy all that for there. Move it up here. Drag that to the viewer. So this is what we want to put as a texture on shape create 3D. So we connect it to the green input. And uh, we drag that to the viewer. And ta-da, we've created a 3D shape. But it's kind of transparent. So we go to S trace create and increase threshold to just below one. If we hit one, you'll see that the image itself disappears. It should just be just below one. And ta-da, we have that. Let's bring in a renderer 3D. Let's connect that to renderer 3D, drag that to the viewer. We have that scale too small, so let's bring a transform 3D in between there. There, and add. And let's go to scale, increase that a whole lot. Then um, let's turn it on the Y axis. So we see we have a 3D shape. Easily done. Let's change that to OpenGL renderer. And um, there we go. Can rotate it. We are good to go. So that's it, guys. That's how we create a 3D shape. Let's bring in the other logo, the Visa logo. Right. So all we need to do is connect that to merge one. Now, at the next thing, we drag Windows 3D to the view. Let's see, we have 
with a logo in 3D. It's kind of flat looking, so let's let's add some light to the scene, right? Let's rotate this thing. Let's write it uh, something like that. So it's facing us. Let's add a large node in here somewhere. Let's bring that transform node down here. Let's um bring in a large 3D node. Let's bring in a spotlight. Let's connect that to much 3D. And let's um, set the corner angle to 19, the decay type to linear. Good. Let's go to Charles Phone. Let's pull it back. No, that's a little too much. Let's drag it down to something like that. Let's drag render a 3D. Let's take lighting. Okay, so you see we have that view there. So that's how you just, this is the Visa logo that we just pulled from the internet. And there we have it in 3D. This is a simple, effective way of just making any object 3D. No hassles, no issues, nothing to tinker with, right? Very easy, deceptively easy, right? And um, it's just using these two nodes, S, Trace, Create, Shape, Create, 3D. Okay, so let's connect media in one. That's the logo back. And we see that there too. It's converted to 3D. We, di we didn't have to do any duplication, nothing. It just works, right? It's just these two nodes. Uh, let me show you how to install them. You go to the link I put in the description, download the file. Then you go to Fusion, drag that file, click on it, drag the file to the node grid to ask you, do you want to install, click on install and launch. I will not click on that because I already have it installed, right? Once, once it's done installing, it's going to open the, the window for reactor. For me, now if I go to, to workspace, to scripts, then I go to reactor. Under reactor, I will see open reactor. If I click on that, I need to load up some scripts and then to show reactor. The tool we are looking for to install is Crocodile. Type that in, just tick that check mark, and then you have it installed. That is how you install those tools. Install every tool you put it. Everything is important. So you use them one way or another later on. They're just lifesavers, basically. And that's it. That's how you convert any object to 3D. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice one.